We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that dairy cows exposed to wildfire smoke produce less milk. Summer's drought erupts, as thirsty soils and crowded scrubs ignite. Blistered winds tear across the sky, dusting each breath with heat and soot and blight. In hazy fields they wait, unwary monoliths of black and white, lying prone beneath our blazing, tainted sheet. Lactation lacerated by the febrile touch of our distant, tainted hands. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the Journal of Dairy Science, which has shown that wildfire smoke exposure negatively impacts dairy cow health. A wildfire is an uncontrolled fire that burns across wildland vegetation, often in rural areas. Wildfire risk depends on a number of factors, including temperature, soil moisture, and the presence of trees, shrubs, and other potential fuel. Given that all of these factors have strong direct or indirect ties to climate change, it is perhaps no surprise that wildfires have occurred more frequently around the world over the past few decades. In the United States alone, 10.3 million acres were burned by wildfires in 2020, representing the largest area burned in a single year since 1960. As well as the immediate and long-term effects on vegetation, habitat and water bodies, smoke from wildfire contains fine particulate matter, a known air toxin and a leading source of air pollution-related diseases in humans and other animals. In this new study, researchers have examined how dairy cattle in the western United States may be affected by these air pollutants from wildfire smoke. The western states, where wildfires are especially prevalent, are home to more than 2 million dairy cows that produce more than 25% of the nation's milk. A group of Holstein cows in Idaho were observed throughout the 2020 Pacific Northwest fire season, which occurred from July to September of that year. During this time, the cows were exposed to wildfire-derived air pollutants for seven consecutive days in mid-September, at levels that were up to 23 times the US Environmental Protection Agency's 24-hour average air quality limits. During this seven-day period of smoke exposure, the cows were found to produce less milk, an effect which persisted for another seven days beyond exposure. These cows were also found to have altered protein and fat metabolisms and reduced immune cell populations in their blood. This research thus highlights the implication for dairy cattle welfare, costs to farmers, and indeed the entire US dairy industry as climate change continues to increase both the severity and frequency of wildfires in the region. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Summer's drought erupts as thirsty soils and crowded scrubs ignite. Blistered winds tear across the sky, dusting each breath with heat and soot and blight. In hazy fields they wait, unwary monoliths of black and white lying prone beneath our blazing, tainted sheet. Lactation lacerated by the febrile touch of our distant, tainted hands.
In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading The Cows by Frederick Bock. Frederick Stone Bock was a poet and editor who was born in 1916 in Newton, Iowa. He earned a BA at the University of Iowa and completed graduate work at the Iowa Writers' Workshop. During his life, Bock published one volume of poems, The Fountains of Regardlessness, published in 1961 this poetry appearing in magazines such as The Iowan, The Nation and The Yale Review. Bock served as an associate editor for the journal Poetry from 1955 until 1961. He lived in New York City until his failing health prompted him to return to Newton, where he died in 1981. Poetry now awards the Frederick Bock Prize in his memory. The Cows by Frederick Bock Who are we in the valley of their language? The landscape listens to their shapes like sounds that perfectly express the heliocryptic slant of the rays they tread homeward to barn, and so grown bright enough to still our speech and let them embody a thought we cannot say. We perch on the fence and study that free tongue of colour wonderfully winding the ragged hill. It used to be when cows came home transfigured, One of us always jumped some flank of splendour in hope of a big ride over a thousand acres, only to get thrown hard on humble ground. But now their quiet moves us, our golden faces crisped by aubergine shadows from our golden hands, turn after them an obtrusive longing to learn. From the slowly pageanted idiom their shapes take on, with jewelled clarity from the hypnogognic that art thou still hanging bright in the west just who we are in the valley of any language if only the gates of our silence let in sky Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.